The Water Lords and I. Let's discuss a job. Please help. One of our children is missing. The boy has always returned quickly until now. Perhaps the Water Beast ate him. Blasphemy. The Druids must have him to transform into a Dryad. All right, I'll look for the boy. We could use more rain. Who are you? Geralt the Witcher, a friend. And we'll see. And you? Yaren, I speak for the Lumberjacks. Can we talk? Speak. Are you responsible for the logging? No, we scare off woodpeckers. Of course we're responsible, we're Lumberjacks. Work for yourselves or someone else? We're independent, though we secure orders from merchants like Luvarden. We get weeks of work and a decent return. You the chief lumberjack? Yes. Without me, these lazy lads wouldn't know when to piss. Him with a moustache. No matter what I do, he still pisses in his boots. I see you keep a tight rein. With danger around, you need discipline. I rule with an iron fist so they can return home safely. Most will. Get along with the locals? Nothing but a bunch of deviants. The brickmakers babble about their lords in the underwater world, and the druids don't like the trees being felled. Any jobs for a witcher? Despite the danger, the beasts leave us alone. So nothing? Perhaps. For someone willing to take a risk. I'm listening. But the begatic plant should be blooming in the swamp. I understand it's valuable. The drug it makes is. Collect some blossoms and we could both earn a little. I wade through mud, face danger, then we split the profit? You don't know what beggar tip looks like, nor where to sell it. Okay. Let's play herbalist. Great. Beggar tip blossoms look like red orchids. Clumps grow throughout the swamp. Sell them to the ferryman. Ask those living in the swamp if you can't find any. I'll deliver the flowers to the ferryman as soon as I find them.
Odd place. Looks like these giants froze mid-motion. Must have been some time ago. What is it? I seek a boy missing from the Brickmaker's village. I've not seen him. The Brickmakers claim you change children into dryads. Fools! Only adults are accepted here. Children would only trouble us. As for dryads, ask them yourself. I'm looking for beggar tick blossoms. We can supply the herb at a reasonable price. Talk to the man who tends the holy oak. Farewell. Huge trees, strange symbols, tamed beasts, even a dryad. This must be the Druid's Grove. Wind Blade. Wind Blade. I seek a boy. The Brickmakers claim Druids seized him to transform him into a dryad. Only girls can be dryads. No boys here. Just wanted to make sure. I would show you where young dryads come from, but... Yes? I wish to remain faithful to the Brocolon tradition. We only take in men to procreate and just the strong and agile. We want the girls born of their seed to inherit their father's fortitude. I've been accused of many things, but lack of physical prowess is not among them. I believe you. But the ritual requires a man to prove himself a skilled hunter. Bring me a wolf's pelt. You have proved yourself a skilled hunter. Yet one obstacle remains. What's that? Witchers are sterile. We dryads don't acknowledge intimacy without procreation. Intimacy without procreation can be good. How? Sex relieves stress, improving body and mind. Hmm. We dryads must be vigilant and agile to defend our home. And my body demands love. Would you like to be with me? Yes, for the day. Come.
Welcome to the Druid's Grove, traveler. Greetings. Marvelous place. I come here when I need to think, and the peacefulness helps clear my mind. Even a witcher is welcome here. One more word about my accepting my otherness and finding the home I never had and I'll cry like a baby. Sarcasm only serves to expose your inhibitions. Ooh, an elven psychoanalyst. I spent decades among humans. I find your kind as complicated as the schematics of a flail. Decades? Live that long among humans, you're bound to become more like them than you ever wanted to be. Are you speaking from experience, Monster Slayer? A sharp wit. I'm Geralt. My name's Yaven. Let's talk. Yes. I'm looking for Witcher's work. Then I'll ask you a favor. I need a letter delivered to Vizima, where I'm not welcome. As a Witcher, you should find little difficulty tending to monsters on the way and avoiding trouble with the guards at the city gates. Who's the letter to? I'd be obliged if you could deliver it to Vivaldi, a dwarf living in town, and then return his reply to me. I'll do it. I'm going to Vizima anyway. Thank you. The Water Lords and I! The Druids didn't take your boy. If I find him, I'll see to his safe return. The boy is gone. A warning to all. We must prepare. Prepare for what? The Water Lords and I! Kalkstein, an alchemist, claims you know about the tower's mage and its sentry. A powerful sorcerer once lived in the swamp. An apprentice, his only companion. All changed when a woman entered his life. A fairy tale beginning. But the end differs. For a wicked woman she was. He fulfilled all her wishes and she took advantage of his might. Who was the woman? Unimportant. I'm listening. Blind love spelled the mage's demise. He called upon forces he could not control and died. What about the guard? The mage's lover could tell fortunes and the mage created a deck of extraordinary tarot cards. He illustrated a future event on each card. And? Golems guarded the mage's dwelling. Those spared the ravages of time survive at the cemetery, where they remain motionless. One of them is the guard? Yes, the most powerful golem acted as sentry. The tower card depicts how the golem can be revived. In turn, this will open the tower anew. Take this card. I no longer need it. Only fools mock the water lords and live in the dry land. When the time comes, fish will consume the fools. What was that? What brings you here? I have a message for you from Yevin. Yevin? I don't need to read it. I know what he wants. Witcher know that whether elf, human or dwarf, they all want the same thing. Gold? Gold indeed. If you care to drop by later, you can collect my answer to Yevin. Agreed. But don't count on getting any gold from me. 
Even has doubtless promised you some already. Sorry, I got lost in thought. About the tower. Yes? Vasca helped me locate the tower tarot card. It describes how to wake the sentry. Let's see this card. Interesting. Much depends on interpretation, but I think I understand. Alchemists find it easier to understand other alchemists. Enlighten me. The sentry can only be woken if it's near the tower, which it is, and by using a lightning rod. A lightning rod? The drawing depicts a man in a crown, a reference to King Herman the Mad. Who's Herman the Mad? Herman used to ascend a tower during storms and insult the guards. A hostile faction carried out a coup by removing the lightning rod from the tower. An interesting story. You'll need a device that attracts and conducts lightning. Put plainly, a solid metal rod. A good smith should be able to forge one for a decent price. What next? Yes, we'll need a thunderstorm, but I have no idea how to make Mother Nature cooperate. I'll think of something. When you have everything, attach the lightning rod to the sentry. Energy from the lightning bolt will revive the golem. What next? No idea, but you'll manage. If you kill the golem, you'll be able to make a rare potion requiring his heart. Here's the formula. We'll see. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. See ya. What brings you here? Have you finished your answer to Yavin? Yes, here it is. The elf will surely reward you. Let's hope you're right. What is it? I can't find Yavin. What happened to him? He left to join other elves in the swamp. Where can I find him? I wouldn't know.
Ah, Witcher. You've been busy. A training camp? We must train to fight effectively. Really think this band of warriors can accomplish something? Can a few stones turn into an avalanche? Can an entire city burn down from just one spark? No need to answer. We both know the truth. Hmm. Yes. I have Vivaldi's response. He sends words, not gold. I suspected as much. So my effort was in vain? Quite the contrary, Witcher. Vivaldi either will not or cannot help us. Crucial information regardless. Did he say why he refused? I suppose he advocates peaceful reform, struggle within the limits of the law. Vivaldi is an intelligent player. Do you really think he believes that possible? Imagine the Temerian gentry and King Foltest returning lands they took from us with fire and sword. Imagine them accepting non-humans as equals. New customer, come aboard. What do you want? Yaren sends his greetings. I have the herbs. Finally. Here, five beggar tick blossoms, as agreed. Four hundred orans, and give my best to Yaren. I'll be sure to. What do you want? I'll find you later. Speak. The ferryman paid me for the herbs. About time. Here's your share. Real pleasure doing business, Witcher. Likewise, Yaren. Speak. Godspeed. There's no end to our toil.